Hey guys, welcome to another episode. Cooking with the Reaper, your heavy metal chef. Got an exciting recipe for you tonight. You're gonna like it. We're gonna do a couple desserts. They're quick, simple, anybody can do it. We're here to teach you how to cook, guys. By the way, happy holidays, Merry Christmas. We'll be right back. We are doing bounty balls. If you guys don't know what those are, it's like a truffle almost. We're going to use two cups of desiccated coconut. Hey, hey, hey. Oh, it smells so good. We're also going to do some Oreo balls, guys. All right? These are super simple. Two cups of coconut and some sweetened condensed milk. Not the cream. It's different. It's got more preservatives. You want the milk. Then we got our pan over there waiting to go. All right, let's go ahead and get this mixed up. Now, if it's too dry, you add more milk. More, more. <clears throat> if it's too wet, you add more coconut. But these are cool, they're tasty, and they're covered in chocolate. You know, I got, I got something to tell you guys. You know, we go, we go shopping. The other day, you know, me and the Dungey, the cameraman, we go into the store. Where's cameraman go? He goes right back to the hunting and sporting area. Bam, Mossy Oak, real tree, bam. Where's dad go? Salt box. Ha! Salt box for my Himalayan salt, guys. Something a little odd about it. I should be in the hunting and sporting area with him. But, you know, each to their own. He wants to learn how to hunt. So we're going to teach him. All right. Oh, yeah. That is definitely moist. So we're going to add some more cooking. These are real tasty, guys. I've never steered you wrong. Definitely sticky. But you know, these, these are the hit of the party, guys. Chocolate, coconut, oh man. Woohoo! Hope you guys are staying safe. Not getting in any trouble. Alright. This is looking pretty good. Oh yeah. yeah. It's a pretty good consistency, but one of a little drier. <clears throat> that way it don't stick in my hands, you know. It's gonna stick regardless, but we're gonna we got a little trick for that. I didn't want to do that. I'm sorry. And we got Gunji. He's figured we'll put it in the spotlight. Look that. Here, we got this. Alright. I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> it's all good, man. Gotta keep him awake, right? I'm just not gonna put my left hand on the phone. <laughs> Alright. And I got my pan over here with the parchment paper. And, uh, 
She's going to roll these into little balls, guys. It is definitely sticky. It's fun though. Good thing I have really clean hands. Hey, Gunch. Hmm. I'm going to throw some more coconut in here. Coconut. Oh. Because <clears throat> you know, it's a little, a little sticky still. It's a lot sticky, but you know, it's well worth it. And once we get these all rolled up, we're going to put them in a the freezer for about 15 minutes. All right. I'm going to go ahead and finish rolling these up, guys, and I'll be right back. All right, guys, we got them all formed into the balls. Not the best balls in the world, but, you know, little trick. Just... Dampen your hands when you're rolling, it won't stick. I'm gonna put these in the freezer. Uh, we're gonna come back and do up our Oreo balls. All right, be back in a few. <laughs> Got our Oreos in here. We're just gonna pulse them up a little bit. Give them pulverized. All right, but give me a second to do this and I'll be right back. Pulverizing the little pieces. Got our softened eight ounce block of cream cheese. Now the trick is get this all incorporated. This works really well with the a regular hand mixer. You can also use your stand mixer if you have one. Gunchy. He's bummed out because, you know, he didn't get any Oreo. He's like, what you do to the cookies? guys all right I'm just gonna finish incorporating this with my hand here and we're gonna do with this the same thing we did with our our bounty balls we're gonna roll them out into some little balls there and we're gonna freeze them all right I don't want to get this all mixed, all incorporated together really well. I think, I think we got it there. All right. Yeah, a little more. I told him he could have the three that were left over, but he didn't want no part of this. <laughs> all right. Now guys, you definitely, definitely want to freeze these. Otherwise, you have a mess when you're putting these in you know, there. Those are pretty big. You don't want them super huge, but you don't, you know, you want to know you got a piece of candy in your mouth. Mm. 
but these are super easy, great for the holidays, and they're always good hit at the parties. All right, but I'm gonna finish rolling these out. By the time I'm done with these, I should be able to pull the others out of the freezer, and we'll, we'll, we'll start getting some chocolate on there. All right, but I'll be right back, guys. We got our chocolate melted, guys. And this is that almond bark, that simply melt stuff. You just want to melt it down on a low temp so you don't scorch it. You don't want to scorch chocolate. You want to make sure it's smooth and no lumps. All right. I'm just gonna drop it on in there. I'm gonna pull it out with a fork. Alright? I'm just gonna set it right on the parchment paper. Yeah, I didn't let that one drain off a lot of time. Do you have to let it sit in the fridge or more? No. It'll set on its own, bud. Oh, okay. You don't have to refrigerate it anymore. Do you do the same thing with the Oreo balls? Yep, we're going to do the same thing with the Oreo balls. But we're going to use white chocolate. Which is a little tricky. Because white, white chocolate tends to be a little temperamental, guys. All right, but I'm going to go ahead and dump the rest of these in. And we'll be right back. Hey, guys. I'm just uh, drizzling some of this white chocolate over the uh, coconut balls. You know, the bounty balls. Just for a little decoration. You can use a, you know, a cake bag, you know, if you would like. Just drizzle it with a spoon. It's quicker and less messy. All right. And we're gonna let those set up. We're gonna do our Oreo balls. Oh yeah. Can I just like steal one? No. Can I steal one? Yes, you can. Yeah. Oh, thank you. These are great. <laughs> We're just gonna roll them around. I'm probably gonna end up using a toothpick. I think it might be a little quicker, guys. <laughs> Got you trying to jack the Oreo balls, guys. Oreos are my favorite. <laughs> mm. 
These are tasty, guys. You're gonna like it. You should have just stuck with the fork. <laughs> Junchy's eyeing up the Oreo balls, guys. He's trying to steal another. No, I am quite messy. It's all good, though. These are delish, guys. It's a little, uh, you know, don't get them in the chocolate. It can be a little messy. That's why you want to, that's why you want to freeze them. <clears throat> All right, but I'm going to finish these up and we'll be right back. There you go, guys. We got our bounty balls and our Oreo balls. These things are amazing. <clears throat> I apologize for my voice. <clears throat> sort of getting a little scratchy. It's all the hollering I've been doing over Christmas. <clears throat> Woohoo! But uh, I'd like to thank you guys for being with me and Gunchy again. And uh, we'd like to take this time to wish you guys a uh, merry belated Christmas and a blessed New Year. Uh, until next time, guys, God bless. Ciao.